everybody. Um, I've been trying to record this video about four times today, and it hadn't worked. I, I'm supposed to talk to you about worry. I believe I'm supposed to talk to you about worry. And I think I've been trying to do it so right, and I've been trying to make sure my hair looks right, and I've been trying to make sure I look okay with or without my glasses. I was trying to make sure I was okay because I don't have any eyeliner on. You know, that's all I wear is eyeliner and lip gloss. But the purpose is really to just get the things out. And then as I was thinking about all those different things I was concerned with, there was worry. All there was worry. And the troublesome about part about that for me is in the little things I worried. I worried about hair. I worried about eyeliner. I worried about my glasses or not. I worried. Now, that's worry, you know, and, and, you know, everyone's probably saying, well, no, that's just making sure you look okay. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Back in Bible days, they didn't have water all the time, and they didn't have, you know, uh, pigments or uh, different colored muds or whatever, you know, for makeup. They didn't have all of that, especially those that were not um, kings and queens, okay? So they had to go for what they knew. When they went to preach a message, they took what they had, and maybe they didn't have much. When, um, let's, let's use Ruth as an example. When she went to glean from Boaz, she didn't get on her nice, pretty outfit every day. She went to work. So my video is work, and although I, I do still look cute. Now, don't get me wrong. I, yeah, I'm going to say that. Um... My concern is that you get the message, okay? So if I had dirt on my face, um, my hair doesn't look right, because you know what, it doesn't look right, look right for some, but it looks good for me. Um, if I didn't have makeup on, because I don't have makeup on, I just have on lip gloss, I, I want you to get the message. We can't worry about every little thing. Um, when Ruth was out there, she needed to get the things for her household, for her and Naomi. When um, Esther did what she did and wanted to be queen, she did what was necessary for her home, for her life, for her people. And there were some times where she went with the ugliest face to see the king. And you know what? There were a lot of, there was Mary. Mary traveled on a donkey to have Jesus. There were um, many women, again, that were not part of royalty that looked any type of way. And I'm not saying this to talk about beauty because that will be a whole other video. I'm saying this to talk about worry. How, how worried are we about how we look, where we're going, and, and why? Now, I, even in business, I know people say that first impressions mean everything. They do, but it's not the first impression of what you look like. It's what you say and what you can accommodate and what you can do. If you don't have a good 30-second video, you don't have anything. Or a, not a 30-second video, but if you ha don't have a good 30-second speech, elevator speech, what they call it, um, somebody has moved on. You could be super fine. And you know what, what do they say, 36, 5, 36, whatever waist used to be, I don't know. But you could be all of that and not have this to share a message, to share what needs to be shared. Let's go back. Worry can make you sick. So even though you're concerned about your presentation, how you're dressed, what your hair looks like, is your makeup on point, if your presentation isn't together, it doesn't matter how together you are on the outside. You're not prepared to get what you need to get, which is going to take you further than what's on the outside. That outer image isn't important. I guess this could have been about beauty. Hmm. But... Nonetheless, what it comes down to is what are we worried about? The minor things. It's the, it's the little things, the, the small things that we're worried about that have nothing to do with what we need to get done. And, um, you know, the Bible tells us not to worry about the next day or what you'll have, what you'll eat, or what you'll wear, only because it's worry. I mean, I have clothes in my closet. And let me tell you, today I did look for, I looked and I looked and I looked for different things to put on. And what I wanted to wear, I couldn't wear. 
and I tried something else, and that didn't work. And not that I didn't even get those things tried on. It wasn't that I was trying them on, they looked bad, and it wasn't that I, oh, well, this color didn't go together. It was just not it. And I put my hands on a pair of black pants, and immediately this red sweater came to mind. So I have it on. And it's not like it's freezing cold outside, but we're in Wisconsin, and the temperature could change quickly. The concern or, or the point I'm trying to get across is that I had a worry about two outfits that was really unnecessary when I just put on what I need to put on. When I am or when, when I say different things about myself that tell you who I am or I'm trying to tell you who I am, it really doesn't matter what comes out of my mouth. It really matters what I'm doing, how I'm living. It's very important that I, when I t share with you that worry is not good for us, I have to share with you that I'm not worried. I have to share with you that I'm trying to be who God has called me to be. I have to share with you exactly what the Lord says. And you know what? When stuff comes out of my mouth, it has to be backed up by the Word of God. Not only because, no, because of who I say I am. It has to be backed up by the Word of God. So, worry. Look it up. It is in Scripture. Please go to Matthew. It talks about worry and um, how we're not supposed to worry and basically how worry is a sin. So there we are with worry. Worry is a sin. Now, if we worry, let's look at those little things again, you know, those outer, outer appearances. That can also lead to more sin because why? You're concerned about what people think instead of doing what God says. And when you do what God says, they're a non-factor, which means worry is a non-factor. Hmm. Who's going to catch that?